Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, Precious Metal Summit 2019 here in Zurich. And with me here now is Banyan Golden Terra Christy, the CEO of the company, wants to give us an update, of course, because we spoke exactly one year ago. Welcome, Terra. Thank you. It's <laughs> great to be back. Yeah, thanks. Great for taking the time. And uh, I said almost a year we spoke. So exactly, I think yeah. a lot of good things happened. Where do you want to start to give us the update? Well, it's, it's <laughs> been a very exciting year for us. Yeah. You know, we came out of uh, the conference last year. Mm -hmm. We were able to raise some money uh, to go out drilling this year mm -hmm. on our Oryx McQuestion property, which is mm -hmm. the one uh, located near Mayo in the Yukon of Canada. Mm -hmm. um, it's right near Victoria Gold's Eagle Gold Mine. So mm -hmm. certainly lots which of is attention. In production now? It's in yeah. production now. That's very <laughs> exciting. I'm, I'm ex yeah. I think that'll really help out our shareholders mm -hmm. as uh, they see that Victoria Gold has gone successfully into production mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and um, you can actually do it in the modern day in the Yukon. Take yeah. a mine from exploration, permit it and build it. That's Absolutely. pretty fabulous. Fantastic. Before we start with the project, um, when you say financing, I think you've got some prominent partners also on board. I think Victoria board, right? Alexco yeah. is in. But uh, you said something like about Osisco Gold Royalties Accelerator model. Yeah, so the, we just did a, a second financing here <laughs> yeah. in October, which mm -hmm. has been a, is a tough time for mm -hmm. for a lot of people to finance. And we were able to raise almost 1.9 million mm -hmm. um, with key partners. Alexco, Victoria Gold participated mm -hmm. uh, again, but as you said, uh, a Cisco Gold royalties came in for mm -hmm. a small percent. They're at now 4.2 percent, mm -hmm. and also Sprott came in at 3.5. We had some Whoa. other really good shareholders mm -hmm. come into the mix, as well as many of our existing shareholders mm -hmm. participated in that financing. Fantastic! So, so they see a lot of potential for. Sure. It's a great vote of confidence, in yeah. my view, that uh, they see potential in both the yeah. jurisdiction and yeah. our properties and yeah. our team. Yeah, absolutely. Great. So the drills are turning on the Mac, what is it called? Mac the Oryx McQuestion uh, property. Oryx they McQuestion, just shut sorry. down like yeah. yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we're now still in the process of cutting core and sending samples to mm -hmm. the lab. But that puts us in a unique position. We will actually have drill results coming out in a few weeks mm -hmm. and through the winter and, and even into January because uh, mm -hmm. it'll take a little while to get all the results back, which Fantastic. is quite unique. Okay, and you had already a view on the core? It looks good? Well, we, we know what the mineralization <laughs> looks like. Yeah. So you know that, uh, and we were doing step-out drilling as mm -hmm. well as infill oh, okay. at about 50 meter spacing because mm -hmm. we do plan to put out a, a new resource in Q2 of 2020, uh -huh. uh, which will be more news flow for us. Mm -hmm. um, we're really excited about this property. We put together a geological model. Mm -hmm. We tested it in the, in the spring of this year. It mm -hmm. came back with fabulous results in our now, now called airstrip zone. Mm -hmm. And then we found a brand new zone, mm -hmm. a kilometer and a half uh, that's south of the airstrip zone, which mm -hmm. has parallel east-west mineralization. And that's very exciting because, you know, we knew we had that block of mineralization on the north side of the road. We now have that parallel zone to the south, and there's actually potential for that to join underneath. So that really opens up the potential for the number of ounces that could mm -hmm. be there. And we're pretty excited about that. And that's why we went back and drilled both on mm -hmm. airstrip zone with 2,500 meters, and then down in the power line zone with another 1,000 meters. Mm -hmm. so. Fantastic. So for the resource calculation, how many meters do you think you have then drilled altogether? Well, including all the historic results, I think we have over 12,000 meters, mm -hmm. um, not all from ourselves, but uh, uh, it certainly uh, adds up. We, we were able to get all the historic yeah. core from but previous that's operators yeah, so and, and re-log it mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and re assayed some of it. Uh, which has really helped in our geological interpretation as well. That was part of the, the secret to our success this this last year was going back and looking at what others done, uh, taking all the rock types that, you know, the, the 16 previous geologists had named, I think there was like 35 rock types and took it down to five. So mm -hmm. um, really spending some time on the geology mm -hmm. uh, has really helped us to unlock uh, what we've, uh, we've now been able to drill off. Mm -hmm. So I would say you have a fantastic understanding of it. We do. We, yeah. we spend a lot of time on understanding mm -hmm. that. And this is only a small small area of the whole mm -hmm. property we have. That property there is 92 square kilometers. We have lots of other targets on it. Mm -hmm. uh, we focused on this one simply because we thought we could advance it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's in a fabulous jurisdiction there, mm -hmm. right next to Victoria Gold. We've got Absolutely. a heap leach mine 20 kilometers yeah. away. Alexco's Mill is a little 10-minute mm -hmm. drive down the road. Mm -hmm. It gives us tremendous optionality mm -hmm. for that property. So that means, uh, let's say, for the future, let's assume you really develop that further and there would be like a production scenario, I would call it. You can probably use Victoria, Alexco. You must not do anything by yourself. That's It's definitely an option. Mm -hmm. I, we probably won't be the ones to build it. I don't expect mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that you we are will. explorers, right? We're explorers. Yeah. That's our, we take the mm -hmm. project all the way from exploration. We could take it through permitting if mm -hmm. that was uh, preferred. But I think if you can get a substantial resource right there with a main highway through it, mm -hmm. we've got a power line. Even Victoria Gold substation is immediately adjacent to where we're working. 
working. Mm -hmm. um, that's pretty exciting. We even have cell phone access. It's the only property I've ever worked on where I could use my cell phone from the drill. <laughs> that's <laughs> In, really fantastic. Yukon has fabulous infrastructure. Yeah. And it's often mm -hmm. overlooked. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Um, so let's, get, let's go to 2020. Um, mm -hmm. For sure, resource. Uh, calculation is one thing. Yep. What else do you want to do? Well, we, we have enough money in the bank now to get us all the way through 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, we do plan a program on our Oryx McQuestion program mm -hmm. uh, project, as mm -hmm. well as our small program project on our Highland uh, mm -hmm. property. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's Good. been a long day of talking. So. Yeah, well, same <laughs> for me. <laughs> no, fantastic. I mean, that sounds really compelling. It uh, looks like now the, the bits and pieces are coming together. And I could imagine with the uh, 43 101, that's like the, one of the next catalysts, right? Well, it'll give us a way to quantify what we have. And I think mm -hmm. that's important for the market. Uh, I don't think we're getting any value in our share price for, mm -hmm. for Oryx McQuestion. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we already have 520,000 ounces on Highland. Um, yeah. And both of our projects, you know, our model is to find mm -hmm. projects that have infrastructure structure, projects mm -hmm. that have the land package size, as well as the geology to be economic deposits. Mm -hmm. And we're also focusing on things that would be open pit, heat bleach mineable. Both mm -hmm. of our projects daylight on surface. So these are near surface projects with wow. roads in the Yukon. Um, mm -hmm. I think that gives us a bit of an advantage mm -hmm. on some of those. And, and that's Definitely. what we're looking for. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, cost wise, also future development wise, and it's all standardized, right? Pretty much. Super. Uh, Victoria has uh, written the uh, the recipe for how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm pretty sure they are following very close. <laughs> <laughs> they are. <laughs> well, great, Tara. Thank you very much. It was a great update. And uh, I think we talk maybe at PDAC and uh, see how the drill results were going. That should be perfect timing yeah, to hear And do a little bit of an update. Sounds yeah? great. Super. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that was Tara Chrissy, the CEO of Banyan Gold. And uh, yeah, you heard it. Uh, drills have turned so far. And we are awaiting now results. So the next uh, weeks, even Christmas and after Christmas in January, there will be a lot of results and news flow, which is quite unusual, but that's perfect for her. And uh, well, to have the uh, property location between Victoria and Alexco, I mean, that's really comfortable to have for sure. And for a future production scenario, what I like is also 92 square kilometers. It's very condensed for the Yukon. This is all together in one piece. yeah. And uh, from that side, uh, for a future production, this is fantastic. And the values so far look really good. And don't forget, the company has already over half a million ounces in resources. So check it out. Thanks for watching us. And bye-bye from Zurich. <laughs>